hey everyone i hope you all are doing good so this video i'm going to explain how you can apply password protections over your cms collections and its individual content page as well so i'm going to break down that well this one is our main dashboard here now at this moment in my home navigation page but this one is not necessary for today what matters for today is our cms page right so this one is our cms page that i have created here you can see inside that there is two contents so what i'm going to achieve here i need to add password protection here so if i click on publish and update this page if i go back to my url you can see it's showing something like this so you can change the ui everything i will explain everything there so what you have to do you have to put your password and now you can check all your articles but what if like someone get access uh, to this url of this specific content like this one and if i open my incognito mode and paste that here you will see it will like you can see this one not accessible because it's still wanting the password because i am using different tab as incognito so you have to check that from there because here i have already like accessed using my password so that is why the session already updated here so you can navigate any cms page or inside its contents as well but here you cannot and if i go back to my main cms page like the article one it's still wanting the password right so let's go back and let's get access to this one like why speed matters so i can push my password here and it's showing here but if i go back to my main article like article page see it's it's also accessible so what it's actually doing here if you apply the password you can be able to get access to all over the contents inside that specific cms collection like the article one i have created this one so it will protect all your contents like like the way you want so i'm going to break down this all you have to do just paste the code i have created for you guys so this code will let you uh, apply that functionalities so you can see the main uh if i zoom in this one okay so now you can see here the configuration part you can see there is a protection collection one and here i have injected my cms name because you have to push that if you have multiple cms collections you can also put that something like this like i have created another one like shams collection you can also add that it will also work like that so it's all up to you so you can put multiple cms collections here that you want to apply your protections and here you can update your password and that's it and if you want to change the ui you can also do that for that you just need to go back here like here there is the ui modification part you can just copy this one the whole part the uh, the whole part and ask gpt to modify the C, uh, like the css from here from top to bottom if you want it's all up to you it will change the ui the way you want the designs interface of the login form so that's all up to you and that's it i will provide the code informations on the description part so you can use that and utilize that on your project this is completely free and let me break down how you can apply that right so i'm going to start from a free canvas starting from scratch i'm going to create a new collection so you can start from here or from here so i click on this one i can name it articles as well or shams like this one i can name it shams so inside that article you can add multiple articles it's all up to you and hit save and this one as well hit save so i have two collections now right 
so what i have to do now i just need to go back and copy the whole code and go back here and click on asset code new code file you can name it cms protection and new override just paste that and you know i have created multiple cms here right uh, if i go back like articles and shams so all i have to do just name it articles and comma shams and that's it if you want to change the password you can also do that like one 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 six one right so it's done you can hit save by control s or command s well i have already two cms collection right the one is articles and the second one is shams so what i can do now i can click on new cms page articles index blog it's saying you can name it articles and the second one should be the shams one index and the first one should be its individual detail page right so that's what i did i can also do that from here it's done to my page and the parent articles one like the same as collection page the, like like the indexed one click on it click on protections that's it and also you have to push that inside your article itself so it can understand what's going on similar for this one and this one as well now what is actually doing if you have multiple collections under one cms you just need to put one time the override and it will do the rest of the jobs for the rest of the content itself inside it so you don't have to do that manually so that's it and if i click on hit save and publish one you can test that from here it's loading and it's coming here it's five one i guess not six yeah so now you can access and it's actually doing the job for the rest of the same as collections but you have to mention that from here like here as well so that's it if you face any issue just let me know in the comment section i will try my best to assist so have a good time bye